Between sixth and seventh grade social studies, we learn about pretty much the whole world. Now, in sixth grade, you learned about North America. And that's North America right there where we live. You also learned about South America. Across the Pacific Ocean, you studied the continent of Australia. And way to the northeast of that, you learned about Europe. This year, we're going to be learning about Africa. And by the way, look how big Africa is. Across the Indian Ocean, we're going to be learning about Southern and Eastern Asia as well. But we're going to be starting this year in Southwest Asia, also known as the Middle East. As you can assume, Southwest Asia does in fact form the southwest corner of the continent of Asia, with Europe to the northwest of it and Africa to the southwest of it. So we're going to take a moment to look at some of the largest features of Southwest Asia. Now, there are three very large countries in Southwest Asia, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Turkey. And uh, this right here is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the largest country on this peninsula here. It's, of course, called the Arabian Peninsula. And Saudi Arabia is covered in some massive deserts, but they're also oil rich oil rich. Now, because so much of Saudi Arabia is desert, the population is actually relatively small. Now, to the northeast of Saudi Arabia, just across the Persian Gulf, we have Iran. Iran has a much larger population and is also a major producer of oil. Then to the west, we have Turkey. Like Saudi Arabia, Turkey is on a peninsula, in fact, a very large peninsula just of its own. And uh, one unusual feature of Turkey is a small piece of it is actually in Europe. So Turkey is one of those countries that actually exists on two different continents. Now we'll take a moment to see some of the major water features. For one thing, there is here the Red Sea. Located between Saudi Arabia and Africa. To the southeast of the Arabian Peninsula, we have the Arabian Sea, which also uh, borders India. And running north of the Arabian Peninsula and south of Iran is the oil-rich region known as the Persian Gulf. Now, in addition to having these large waterways, there's also a couple of very important uh, water features in terms of trade. These are sometimes called choke points, where a lot of important trade has to travel through. And one of these is attached to the Persian Gulf. At the mouth or exit of the Persian Gulf is the Strait of Hormuz. And Iran is on one side of the Strait of Hormuz there. All of this oil that is pumped in the Persian Gulf uh, has to be shipped out of uh, the region on tanker ships, and those tanker ships have to go through the Strait of Hormuz. This is a narrow place. It would be fairly easy to disrupt if someone wanted to create problems with the world's supply of oil. There's another important waterway here as well. A canal was built connecting the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea in Egypt, and this is called the Suez Canal. On one side of the Suez Canal is the Mediterranean Sea, on the other side is the Red Sea, and that of course connects with the Indian Ocean and allows Europe to trade with Asia.